I trade as Roberto, and today is June 3rd, 2016, and the non-farm payroll numbers have just been released. So this is a live trade tutorial, and if you notice down here, non-farm payroll employment change, 38K, and the forecast was 159, previously it was 160, so this is an extremely negative number. So um, I already took the trade did not anticipate any kind of a retracement and um, three two trades were taken so far New Zealand Swiss I'm sorry New Zealand dollar New Zealand dollar is a commodities based uh, currency and that's why I chose so anything that affects the US dollar definitely uh, rather the US economy will affect the New Zealand dollar and the other one is USD yen Notice no retracement. I was waiting for some sort of uh, pullback. Nothing happened. And USDN has continued to sell off. The other one is US, Euro USD. I was waiting for a retracement. And again, not much of a retracement. The numbers are so negative that um, I didn't even wait. Normally, if that's what I, 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 normally what I would do is wait for a pullback because the numbers are so negative. Again, um, here with the numbers 38k when the forecast was 159 so that's uh, what we're going to do just hold that position we'll wait for the euro USD to come back a little bit and then take that trade otherwise I just enter a very small contract and if it does pull back then I'll add another one but let's look at some other pairs uh, pound dollar probably is taking off north as well and there it is. The pound dollar is in an uptrend. And so not much of a pullback, but if it, we may have a pullback in about a half an hour because that's the opening of the New York stock market. And it does, we're going to definitely be buying pound dollar and entering another buy position on New Zealand dollar. So you see it's starting to pull back now. Here's the swing low swing high of that initial reaction so anywhere along these levels down here we'll be looking for buying opportunity or actually another buying opportunity since I already took a position up here so if it comes back down to 50 61 percent retracement level then that would be an ideal area to buy and the stop loss obviously would be below the swing low of the initial reaction okay same thing on euro usd I'm looking for a retracement and not sure we're going to have any kind of a retracement on usd yen so let's see what happens so i'll come back in about 15 minutes and see where these trades are okay guys i'm back and i may be getting out of these trades very soon simply uh, for the fact that I got in at the bottom and we may see a retracement sometime around 11 o'clock Eastern even though the numbers are so negative um, and this most likely will set the tone for the US dollar uh, for the next uh, few weeks let's look at the other pairs is euro USD which should continue to go north um, for the next few weeks and New Zealand there's that retracement on New Zealand dollar. Not much. Went all the way down to 38% retracement level and then just turned around and headed north. And pound dollar also. So look uh, to buy these pairs and sell the U.S. dollar for the next week or so because the numbers extremely negative. I was really surprised at those numbers, but we should um, be able to see the, the U.S. dollar sell off for the next few weeks so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions just shoot me an email have a good weekend and talk to you guys next week